What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're going to be doing a comparison video from the old body Honda Civic over to the new body Honda Civic and we're going to be talking about exterior interiors and some specs about these exact cars but before we do it is not a sponsored video so if you do like our content please like our video subscribe to our channel because it really really helps us out if you got something for us to film Here's our email below. Email us so we can talk details later. And a special, special shout out and a thanks to Auto Nation Honda here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us these cars for this review. Now let's go ahead and start. But before we go ahead and start, remember I'm gonna be dropping these MSRP stickers so you guys get an idea of the exact package and price tags to these cars. Now let's start. So let's kick off this review, some specs and some minor differences from the old body Civic over to the new body Civic. Now, for anybody who really wants to know, this is a 2020 and this is a 2023. Let's go ahead and talk specs. Now, we're looking at a 2.0 uh, naturally aspirated engine. It comes with the CVT transmission and some specs about this exact engine is 158 horsepower, 138 foot pounds of torque. MPG is 30 city, 37 highway, and a 33 combined four cylinder of course now if you come over to this 1.5 liter turbo motor comes four cylinder 174 horsepower 162 foot pounds of torque 32 city mpg and a 42 highway also with the cvt transmission now everybody you have the option of getting the 1.5 liter tur turbo motor or engine in this exact 2023 car Go check out our other video for a more in-depth review of this exact Civic by itself. This video will be just a minor comparison of the body and the exterior body and the interior so people get an idea of what the look on old and new and the differences. Now, get a load of these front ends. If you ask me, I'm a huge fan of these new Honda Civics because to me, it kind of reminds me that they're bringing out that uh, 98, 1998, 1999, 2000 body style back to this. And I've always loved those M1 body styles. Compared to these, some people kind of say that the back end on these look like aliens, but get a load of the front ends. Big difference on the front ends from the cuts to the grills, all this. You get a load of on the 2023, the grill here, the lower grill there, the headlights, the fog lights. Now, these are fake fog lights, okay, guys? So you do not have fog lights on this sport model. Uh, there is a question, does it come into the Turing? But I do see Honda minusing their fog lights on certain uh, cars. So you come over to the 2020 model, and of course, take a look at this. Upper grill is different, lower grill is different, different cuts, different angles, different curves on this old body Civic. I want you guys just to kind of get an idea, take a look at this. Headlights look different. Does look pretty sporty in the front for an old body Civic. Now this does come fog lights on this EXL package and we're gonna be talking about that. And the minor differences, 2023 is a sport. Now. Coming over to the side of the car, we're gonna get a big difference on the body from the old body Civic over to the new body Civic. Different rims, of course, and you're going to be seeing different rims on different packages on both cars. So this being an EXL package, you will get these one color kind of gunmetal gray look on the rims. Now, these are 17s, but take into consideration that you will see different rims on the old body also along with the new body these are sport rims everybody and these are 18s so these are a black gloss 18 inch rim now get a load of the full side of this new 2023 i am loving this new body style loving how it kind of has that sedan look no camera on the side mirror so this being the sport you do not get that 360 view camera or the blind spot assist here but it's a black gloss to match the rest of the trim now here because it's the xl of course you had the option of getting that blind spot assist and the camera is integrated here same color as the car but different mirrors in general check a look take a look at the shape of the mirrors that is also different from the old body over to the new body of course in the full shape Remember, you get a sunroof on the XL, but this being a sport, no sunroof, but you will see that that, that is different on different packages or trims 
on both cars. Continuing back, get a load of the shape of the windows from the front over to the back here. You get more of a, uh, an acute angle here. This is a little bit more obtuse, bigger angle, different size glass, but you still have the three glass, the two doors and the quarter panel glass. This just being a little bit bigger. Same idea with the push on the gas lids. Same thing here on the 20. 20 now come over to the rear end and this is what i love about these new 2023s are the tail lights the civic sign very beautiful sports stamped loving it some people could say kind of looks like an accord here in the back but i'm just loving the fact that they got rid of that kind of alien look people were talking about all throughout the years from the 2020 here this is the back end look different angles on the tail lights of course different bumper covers here Get a load of that. You got the cuts here in the bumper to where here is no, you got that little cut just for that parking marker, but nothing much with a little slight, small little diffuser here, but you got that too. But even those look different. Just get a load on the back ends of these both cars. This is the comparison on the look. Total different, I'm gonna say. Sometimes you get these new bodies where they kind of look the same, but Honda completely changed their look. Now let's go ahead and pop the, Oh, we locked the car. Now that the car is unlocked, we're gonna open. You got a button here with the camera integrated right over the license plate. And the cargo room is 14.8 cubic feet on this new 2023. And pretty simple, straight to the point, kind of like the old body, where you also get that button and that camera right over the license plate. And this is going to be 15.1 cubic feet. Now on the Sportback model, it does increase, but we are not talking about that in this video. But overall, pretty much almost the same space. Just remember, huge difference on the back end over to the 2023. Now that we're pretty much done with the exterior, let's go ahead and talk interior. So now inside the interior of the 2023 Honda Civic Sport and get a load of this new beautiful interior. Now we're gonna have some kickback. My preference is the new look. I love that honeycomb grill going all the way across along with that black gloss trim, very beautiful. And a different placement of this screen there. Super cool look. Different center console where the cup holders are placed near the shift knob on the 2023. Got a little bit of personal pocket space, USB-A plugins, 12 volt here. Up top, you get the climate controls, totally different also. Up here, again, the screen, the front cluster is full digital. Well, actually not full digital, sorry. The left side is digital and the right side is still that manual tachometer. Got the different steering wheel with the black gloss trim, different look on that airbag over to the left, honeycomb with the black gloss, vent still there on both. Now center council, you got a little pocket space with a removable tray on the 2023. Parking brake here with some nice design texture feel on that trim. Drive modes, you get different drive modes on the 2023, of course. So pretty um, different on the look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But the 2022 model, take a look at that dashboard. Different cuts, different, sorry, I said 2022, but this is a 2020 old body, and that is the dashboard, the screen, the steering wheel, different cluster different seats in that car of course the center council has kind of that free area that bridge area where right under that bridge you get the 12 volt outlets and your usb plugins so that is totally different over to the 2023 model the new body you get your eco mode and then the center council itself the lid lifts up and you got a sliding cup holder along with a removable or slidable tray on the 20 20 old body style but on the 2023 we want to kind of emphasize you are going to be seeing you know no sunroof sunroof on different trim levels you get a different look up here the very nice true lighting on that light and here kind of looks the same from over old body to the new body same idea so you can't really change much with the rear view mirror but the seats themselves cloth partial leather with that nice design inside. Kind of same bucket look from the old body over to the new body. So take that into consideration. And of course you get your straight to the point glove compartment. 
door panels, different look on the door panels, different inlays, trims. You will be seeing that from different trim packages on the new body but I wanted to tell you guys that the door panels even look different from the 2023 new bodies over to the old bodies also. That is cool. You also get a trunk button here on the new bodies right on the door panel. Very convenient, I think. But this is pretty much the front end of the new body. Let's go ahead and talk second row seating. So this is the new 2023 back of the interior, the second row seating. Now we do have a simplified second row seat the two front seats have the partial leather this also has the partial leather but those have the design and this doesn't have the design but just a, a black canvas cloth now nothing on the rear of that center console no usb plugins things of that sort no pockets on the back seats but again guys you are going to be seeing minor differences from different trim levels now i'm about six feet two inches leg room is pretty nice up top i'm touching the ceiling because it kind of gives it a nice uh, sloop down, uh, drop down on that rear end. So I, for being tall, am going to be touching the ceiling. Oh, shiznit handles. Guys, so pretty simple, straight to the point. Door panels, this is what they look like in the back. They resemble the front. Now let's go ahead and head over to the old body style and talk about that. Now old body style, if I open this door, of course you get this door panel, like I said, different look on the door panel you got two colors of course different little switch look and things of that sort but simple straight to the point same color as the front but you get pocket room on the excel and pretty simple straight to the point also armrest you get that armrest here with the cup holders back here now if i had to sit down in the seat about six feet two inches and I get a little bit more head clearance uh, on the old body rather than the new body. So take that into consideration. Nothing on the back end of that rear cancel either. Oh, shiznit handles still in place. Now, everybody, as promised, we are going to be dropping those MSRP stickers for the exact package or trim levels and what they come with on this car also with the price tag but we appreciate you guys watching our channel here at vagabond builds for this review let us know any comments questions concerns in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible thanks guys keep watching we got cool things coming